Hello, my lovely Scorpios, and a very warm welcome to your annual forecast 2024 to 2025. This is going to be a big year on many levels. The outer planets are beginning to move away from the Earth and water signs, and they're moving into the air and fire energies. So you can expect things to really begin to speed up. And it's, it can be very exciting and exhilarating. But when excitement gets out of control, it can be dangerous. And you miss details, you miss the important things, and you're not grounded. So it's going to be really valuable to have a practice of maybe connecting with nature, water, meditation, anything that puts you into a calm place quickly is going to be a real asset during this coming year. So the first planet to, to make the big shift is Pluto. Pluto moving into Aquarius this year, moving into your fourth house. It goes a little bit there and back, but largely it's in your fourth house for 20 years. So it's a big deal and a big shift. More about that in a short while. On a global level, it's going to take us away from so much focus on materialism, more, more, more stuff, stuff, stuff. Finances, profits, markets. It's still going to be around, but it's not going to be the as much of a focus as it has been since 2008 when Pluto went into Capricorn. And we've had big financial crises and stock markets and all sorts of things going on with banks and bailouts. Will be less of a focus, more of the focus is going to be upon equality and spreading wealth and allowing everybody to have a, a piece of the power. And technology is going to be spread more widely because the air signs rule anything technologically along the air waves. And again, I think all more instruments are going to come out, like the mobile phone, that will be available to all at a very relatively inexpensive cost. So it's a big area, more about that in another video, but just to give you a sense that technology is speeding up and that our mind energy is speeding up and we're going to have to use our minds in much more constructive ways than we do. Apparently, we think 90% of the thoughts that we think are the same ones every day. So we're gonna get, we're gonna have to get into a whole new global way of creative thinking that is beneficial to all. That's the direction we're going in, which, which I feel is really wonderful. At the end of the year in December, Mars is gonna go retrograde, and that's one of your rulers. So at that point, there will be a pulling back, but that's not till December time. I'll cover that a little later. The other big news is that Jupiter, planet of good fortune, expansion, growth, um, abundance, prosperity, changes sign in May, and we'll go into your eighth house. So that's a big shift. It goes into Gemini, again, uh, bringing growth in things to do with transportation, technology, health and healing from a vibrational viewpoint. So big things. All the Mercury retrogrades are going to be in fire signs. So this is going to give you an opportunity to connect by going inside you to the divine mind, the higher mind, not the little mind that says, you know, he did that, she did that, not all that stuff, but something much higher and more powerful. That's the potential. January the 21st, Pluto makes its first port of call into your fourth house. And largely, it'll go briefly into your third between September and November, but you can count on it being there for until 2044, pretty much. So what does this mean for you, lovely Scorpios? Well, Pluto is about taking your power. When it's in the fourth house, this has to do with any old history from ancestry, from the past, from your childhood, you can clean it out. It's an opportunity to dig it out, clean it out, dispose of it. 
and it's a you can create a whole new rebirth a transformation of the karma that you maybe came into this lifetime with can take place with this power of this pluto you can be free of limiting behavior patterns from the past maybe from you or from generations ago that you're still repeating maybe in your life it's an opportunity to truly find your home it can be a physical home but it may also be the home inside that connects with everybody and everything it's also an opportunity to connect with a really deep soul family so that you you may meet people that you go oh, i know you yes you, you get a real sense and that may come into your life more and more you may magnetize to you more of the souls that you have a potential of a divine friendship with really that will elevate your consciousness and their consciousness to live a happier better life for yourself and for those around you so that it's a tremendously power point of the chart it has to do with your foundations being grounded being centered being in your power pluto is your ruler let's face it one of your rulers so finding your power not through brute force but through tuning in to all the higher frequencies that science is going to prove very soon yeah or i mean electricity we can't see it unless there's a big shock or a lightning wave but we can't see it and there's so much more in the space between the objects that science is going to discover maybe you're going to be involved with that maybe you're going to be involved with health and healing maybe you'll be involved with the healing of the land this has to do with the earth and our land and all the beings who inhabit it there's a lot it's deep stuff pluto is deep you can talk about pluto for days if not years but i'm giving you a taste here and then you as my lovely scorpios will go along and go deeper into the mystery um in um, march april we get the eclipses and the eclipses are in your sixth and twelfth houses initially March the 25th, we have the lunar eclipse in the 12th, and April the 8th, the solar eclipse in the 6th house. And the energies of these eclipses last for about six months. And the 6th and the 12th house have very much to do with your spiritual journey. A renewal of your health can happen here, your physical health, a change in your habits, a change how you use your time, really valuing every moment of your time, prioritizing details in your life going more deeply into the journey of solitude spirituality astrology tarot channeling deepening your intuition all this is being activated it's really rather wonderful and any connection that you have to the animals may be magnified through these eclipses and then the next set of eclipses will come around in uh, September, October time. So September 18th, we'll have a lunar eclipse in your fifth. And then we get another solar eclipse here in this 12th house, October 2nd. So if you like, these energies are rolling on throughout the year. And it's going to be the house of health, healing, helping others, and of withdrawing and integrating and learning more about your inner world and the connection that you have with everything, everyone and the wider cosmoses and universes. So it's a wider thing. And here, the fifth house will be activated as well towards the end of the year. And that's just shining a light and saying, Scorpios, don't take things too seriously. Remember the dream of life that the things that seemed so important years ago, where are they now? Fleeting. So that's a big reminder. There's more, but there's always more. So I'm just giving you as much as I feel is important at this point. As I said, all the Mercury retrogrades are in fire signs this year. And the fire signs for you are going to be the second, the sixth and the 10th houses. 
So you're going to be doing a lot of reflection about your finances, your work, your career, your place in the world, uh, what you feel your purpose is. You're going to be reflecting on that. And if you can, connect with the divine mind, the higher mind. You're likely to get great inspirations, great ideas, maybe for business, money-making ideas that are beneficial for you and for others, creative ideas to express yourself more. There's a lot, again, that's bubbling beneath the surface, and all you have to do is just activate it. Finally, at the end of the year, December the 6th, the Mars retrograde is going to be in this 10th house, so you'll be integrating everything that's been going on and it's going to promises to be a very busy year and you'll just get a chance to integrate everything connected with money finance work and what you now feel is your place in the world what your divine purpose is so um your relationships are going to continue to grow. You're going to continue to learn. You may be a little out of your comfort zone from time to time, but resolve to enjoy it. And you'll find that uh, there's a great wealth of wonderful experiences on their way to you. Now, let's see what your Pleiadian Oracle card deck is for 2024 to 25. Your Pleiadian Oracle card deck is Sacred Spaces. So this speaks to what I was talking about originally. You need some quiet, sacred space where you can reconnect with the divine, with the higher frequencies in a calm energy. When you think of a sacred place, you may think of a church or a mosque or a synagogue or a, a place that's has a sense of peace. Nature is a sacred space. So remember during this year to cultivate your sacred spaces and you'll be able to make wonderful use of these amazing aspects coming up. I'd love to know whether you find these videos helpful. Please give me comments, feedback. I'm always looking to improve. There are a great deal of joyful work, but I would like to know that they are valuable to you. Much love. Bye for now.